Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Invincible Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Interested to see how Kareem compares to the other Invincible Center Power Forward that's absolutely elite, Shaquille O'Neal, and how he compares to the top Power Forwards in the game, guys like Manute Bull, Taco Fall, obviously Shaq, etc., etc., Artist Gilmore, guys like that. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. And additionally, huge shout out to my boy TK for letting me hop on his account to record this Invincible Kareem gameplay. He picked Kareem out of the um excuse me, out of the Invincible option pack. And I'm interested to see how good this card really is. Seven foot two at the center position. Gonna be really, really solid. Before we hop into the video, uh no, actually, I don't think there's anything else to add. Let's hop right into it, see what Kareem is looking like. So 7-2, 9 on offense and defense. Um stats are obviously insane. 98 three ball, everything else is 99. He's got 98 pass IQ, but like 98 speeds to roll and excel. Those stats are all 99, basically. Doesn't really matter. 55 Hoffs, six gold badges. Look at the badges he does have on gold. Um, the badges he does not have on Hall of Fame are Giant Slayer Pro Touch, Amp, Slippery Off Ball, Bailout, Floor General. He doesn't have Space Creator, Mismatch Expert, Special Delivery either. Really, not a single important crucial badge, in my personal opinion. Um, and I think this card's gonna be really, really good. I wonder about his release, though, I will say that. Because that's the beautiful thing about Shaq, is that they changed Shaq's release. If they didn't change Kareem's release, I think he's gonna be a little bit worse than a guy like Shaq. And he's also got the Kobe Escape, which isn't bad. Same escapes Cat Shack has, and yeah, they didn't change his release. That's disappointing. I'm going to be honest, that's disappointing. As great of a card as he's going to be, he's going to be an absolutely incredible defender. He's going to be a capable pick-and-pop shooter. He's going to be able to put the ball on the floor and be an absolutely incredible point power forward or point center. There's a lot of value this card is going to have. He's going to defend incredibly well. He's got an amazing player build. He's going to be an awesome card. But the not-change release, in my opinion, makes it so that it's almost impossible for him to be better than Shaq and be the second-best power forward in the game after Minute Bowl. I just don't see it. I think you're more so comparing him to Taco and Artis Gilmore and guys like that to see where he ranks the top, among the top power forwards. So hope y'all got Shaq out of the invincible option pack because i think he's a lot more worth it than kareem but kareem still looks like an amazing card moves really really well super fast especially for his size gonna be an amazing slasher still a very capable catch shoot shooter and an incredible defender just wish that he had a slightly better release that's really my only complaint because other than that this cream card is still going to be absolutely amazing and really really fun to use as well in my team definitely going to be a top tier option at the power forward or center position in the game this year so hopefully y'all do enjoy this gameplay but without further ado let's hop right into it let's see what kareem abdul jabbar can do all right let's just let actually let's let kareem run some offense see if we can space the floor he's matched up against taco fall taco's an amazing card as we all know but the one thing taco doesn't have is a great speed and i think he's going to struggle a little bit matched up especially in like a five out situation against a guy like kareem i don't think this is a very favorable matchup for him he's got zion on kareem as well let's get downhill see if we can just mash kareem i, I understand zion's a great card as well but kareem seven two easy bucket right there we finally get ourselves one to go because we actually are down four to two he did knock down a four pointer in his first possession dude's got a pretty solid team looks like a pretty solid player he's got ron artes jimmy buckets uh invincible zion taco fall and um ralph sampson so pretty solid team for sure cut off the dribble drive here great defense minute's gonna come down with the steal we're gonna go right back into our five out we're gonna attack mismatches again because that's the thing about kareem 99 speed seven foot two there's mismatch potential all over the court and he gets himself another easy bucket he's gonna be too fast for guys like taco and even kind of potentially guys like Yao and Rick Smith and players like that at times uh, and then he's going to be too big for smaller bigs who are 6'5", 6'9", 6'10". He's going to be way too big for guards obviously. He's just going to be a huge mismatch problem with the ball in his hands. I just wish he had a better release. That's the only thing I got to say about this card because otherwise he's so nice. Like He's such a solid option but it is what it is. We're going to try to get him involved shooting a couple threes as well if we can. I'm not going to force the three if it's not there, but we are definitely going to at least try to get ourselves some opportunities for a catch and shoot, and that's a great look right there. And I think I missed it. No, I didn't. Green light, beautiful stuff. Knocks down the three. If he gets open, his guy release is fine. It's smooth. It's easy enough to green. It's not a bad release. It's just not fast, and it's kind of, it's not the prettiest release in the world or anything like that, but good contest right there by Jokic. Did a good job avoiding the screen and manually contesting, and we're going to go right back into our five out, man. Just keep ta keep attacking mismatches. He's got Ralph Sampson on me this possession. I don't think Ralph can stay in front. I don't don't know if he's going to be able to keep up with us he is off balling i'll give uh, the off ball oh i ran out of adrenaline uh, it doesn't matter chet's gonna knock it down you got to manually contest otherwise we're gonna knock these types of shots down we'll take our assist but he ran out of adrenaline right there so we weren't able to actually beat our defender off the dribble and the off ball makes it a little bit tougher but i definitely think we can pretty pretty easily pretty consistently take advantage of him in mass mismatches good shot there by our test dude's doing a pretty good job running offense and things like that but we're doing all right as well we're chilling on this game attacking downhill again Jokic, and that's an easy dunk we'll take our bucket there good screen by Kareem got us the room we needed to get downhill with Jokic and get ourselves an easy bucket let's play some defense here pinch over Kareem 
Ah, he backdoored me. Dude's kind of a little bit of a cheeser, I can tell. Just a little bit. Just backdooring out the corner there. Don't love that, but it is what it is. It's probably a good switch by him, by the way. I'll give credit to put uh, Ralph Sampson on him. Uh, Ralph Sampson instead of Taco on Kareem. Good defense as well. That's the thing, man. I don't feel like Kareem gives you the threat that a guy like Shaq does because Shaq is such a dangerous option as a three-point shooter. And he just backdoors again. This dude is a cheeser. I'm not going to lie, but whatever. Um... He doesn't quite give you that threat because of the fact that he's not as much of a shooter. And I'm not doing quite as good of a job as I was hoping I would do to creating shots in this game either. Uh, getting downhill, pump fake, and I'm not going to be able to... I'm surprised that went in. I am surprised that went in. I honestly thought that mash was not going to go down. Let's try not to get backdoored again here. He's going to try to backdoor out the corner again. He backdoored Zion, but it wasn't there. We play great defense here. We switched this beautifully. This is a really good defensive possession. We need to... Oh, come on. Give me the... Oh, my God. I was going to go in regardless. But, damn, bro. We can't get a stop right now. He's just backdooring me every single play, and I cannot get a stop on it. That is so frustrating. It is what it is, though. We're only down by one. Two minutes left in the game. Kareem spaced the floor at nine and one. See if we can beat... Uh, oh, he's going to... Okay, chill. Re relax. Drag back. Beautiful attack baseline. He's doing a really nice job defensively. I will give credit where it is due. Clicking on. Clicking off. Doing a great job attacking... Uh, uh, he's doing a good job. I, I give credit. This is this is solid defense. He may be cheesing his ass off offensively and not doing a lot impressive, but defensively he's doing a good job, man. I got to give credit. He's doing a good job staying in front, and I don't think Kareem has the shooting ability to really t make make him pay when you're playing a little bit lower on him and stuff like that, which is a little bit unfortunate. That's why, again, I wanted the release change. He's just going to backdoor me every play. We're going to lose because I can't stop the backdoor. I don't know. It is what it is. Sometimes that's how the game goes. I hate playing against people who play like this, though, because backdoors are so aids to stop. Catch and shoot. Why did we get a load up? He hasn't touched the ball the whole possession. We should not be getting a load up. That's a wide open three. Not wide open, but 8% green light. Yes, sir. Look at Ramos. He does have that 98 three ball with all the shooting badges. I mean, he can knock them down now at a level that he really never would have been able to before uh, because of how good his shooting stat stuff is. And... Chet gets stuck in another screen. Golly, bro. I don't feel like this dude is doing anything particularly skillful, and yet he's scoring every single play. That is really frustrating, but it is what it is. Attack downhill again. I guess we'll take our dunk with Jokic here. Didn't really have anything else going. Kareem's been good. 12 points and assist, all that stuff, but um, just that's not quite the performance that I was hoping for, I guess. Watch back doors here. Watch back doors. Watch back doors. Watch back doors. Rotate over. Good defense. Oh, please don't. No. No, good board, please. Thank you, Manute. We're good. Push the ball and transition. Come set me a screen. We're using the double big pick and roll. Attack the rim. Dump down. Pump fake. Kareem. Just, just, yes, sir. Look at Ramos shoving him under the rim. Standing, dunking, taking the lead. 41 seconds left. I want to win this game, man. This dude plays two aids for me to be, be okay with losing to him. Good defense, Kareem. Good deep. It was just a glitch, man. That's not bad defense. We're in good defensive position. He just lays it up over top. Not a ton I can do there, honestly. Chill. Come set me a screen, Reem. Come set me a screen. Stop and go. Attack again. Hit our pop. Blow right by. Beautiful. We did. We've knocked down enough shots now with Kareem that he's respecting the three ball, and we managed to get downhill and get a bucket. And why does Kareem have shot creating take? I have no idea. Good defense. One stop here. Don't give up the back door. That's great. I don't feel like that's bad defense, man. I don't feel like that's bad defense. He just gets the perfect dunk animation. Ah, frustrating. It is what it is. Go get a bucket here. Go get a bucket. Stop and pop. Kareem, okay, I just spiked. And I still grained it. Good shot. We'll take our three there. He's expecting me to go to Kareem. We needed us to get ourselves a bucket there. That's a great screen. Gets us the space we needed. And T-Max able to knock down the three. Five seconds left. One hand. Hand. That's a contest. And that's game. Get dog. Let's go. Good win. Beautiful stuff. We are going to come out of here with a W against a dude who cheesed his butt off. 16 and 1, 7 of 10, 2 of 3 from 3 from Kareem. Great performance. You love to see it. Let's go. What a great win. I'm pleased about that one because I do not like losing to people who cheese. We had to get the job done. I'm very pleased about this win. And Kareem honestly played really, really well as well. So love to see it. Why are you calling a timeout? It doesn't matter. The game's over. He doesn't have time to get a catch and shoot off. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's review the card. All right, in conclusion, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, damn good card, damn good card. Wish he had a better release, but he's still an amazing option. I'd say you're looking at probably, is he better than Artis Gilmore? Artis has a better release, but Kareem's an overall probably a better card still. I don't know. So I think he's probably the fourth best power forward in the game behind Minute, Shaq, and Taco. Probably. I don't think Rick Smith can play power forward. No, I think he's a center only. So Kareem's a great card. Is he worth buying? For his price in the auction house, the answer is going to be no. From the option pack, I still might take Larry Bird over him or one of the point guards. I don't know. Eh, it's not a card I'll be picking up. I'll say that, but I don't know. Very good card still. If you do get Kareem, he's going to be an elite level power forward. No doubt about that at all. Hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.